Do you believe in God? Me? Uh, so, Creator? Uh, yeah, so I'm, the, the more I look at the universe, um, just the less convinced I am that there is something benevolent going on. So if you, if, if your concept of a creator is someone who's all-powerful and all-good, that's not an uncommon pairing of powers that you might describe to a creator. All-powerful and all-good. And I look at disasters that afflict Earth and life on Earth. Volcanoes, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, disease, pestilence, um, congenital birth defects. You look at this list of ways that life is made miserable on Earth by natural causes. And I just ask, how do you deal with that? So philosophers rose up and said, if there is a God, God is either not all powerful or not all good. I have no problems if as we probe the origins of things, we bump up into the bearded man. If that shows up, we're good to go. Okay? Not a problem. There's just no evidence of it. And this is why religions are called faiths, collectively. Because you believe something in the absence of evidence. That's what it is. That's why it's called faith. Otherwise, we would call all religions evidence. But we don't. For exactly that reason. So, so I, I'm, I'm given what everyone describes to be the properties that would be expressed by an all-powerful being in the gods that they worship. I look for that in the universe and I don't find it. So I, I, I remain unconvinced. But if you've got some good evidence, uh, bring it, bring, bring it, uh, bring it. Okay? And so I don't, I don't lead with that information because what I believe should be irrelevant to anyone. It's not about me. It's about the real world. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, and uh, peace and safety to all the Akim out there, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, you saw the clip. Uh, this is one of Esau's uh, top scientists, or Jake, of course. Um, Neil deGrasse, deGrasse Tyson. And um, basically he's saying... If if it's a if it's an all powerful God, that's all good. Why why does all these um, disasters and um, he call it natural disasters, but mainly why would God do this? All right. So he says, give him the evidence. All right. If 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 God exists, give him give him the evidence. So here's your evidence, Mister uh, Tyson. All right. That the Most High Yahweh, that's his name. All right, he he is all powerful. All right, but he's not just all good. All right, and with all that knowledge that you so called have, that that uh, worldly wisdom, all right, which is foolishness, uh, with the Most High. All right, as the Scripture states, um, I'm gonna show you through the Scriptures that you don't have a clue about what you're talking about, man. Okay, so uh, the first Scripture I'm gonna get is in Isaiah. 45 and 7 all right and this this is your evidence all right that that uh the most high is just not all good okay that's that's philosophies all right that's um religion okay that's not the truth okay and the truth of the matter is you know he's good and evil and i'm going to read the scripture to prove it isaiah chapter 45 verse 6 that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. Verse 7. I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace. I create evil. I, the Lord, does all these things. Okay, so the Lord is not all... It's not all good, all right. Like, uh, the, like Christianity will, will have uh, people to believe, all right. That's basically witchcraft, okay. That's basically uh, 
call religion, all right? That's that's what you would call uh, religion, okay? So that's, that's um, let me get the next scripture and give you some more evidence, okay? Um, Amos chapter 3 and uh, verse 6. And it reads, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? All right. So all those disasters that you describe, volcanoes, um, hurricanes, all right, diseases, famines. All right. These are, are things that the Lord created for vengeance, man. All right. This is things that the Lord created for vengeance and it's all throughout the scriptures. And we'll give you an um, example, a quick example. All right. More evidence for the for the for the uh, scientists. OK, for the um, the man, the, the man of wisdom. OK, this guy who Esau got set up uh, to basically go against the scriptures, man, to teach contrary uh, to the Bible, and that's that's called a Satanist, man. That's adverse to the truth, man, because everything this guy uh, pushes, man, and teaches is basically, man, falsehoods. All right, it's it's it's, it's basically satanic, man, because he tries to move the Creator, the power, which that's what the word God means, uh, Mister Tyson. It means power. Okay. So he is all powerful. OK, so I'm going to give you an example of the Lord of these so-called natural uh, disasters that you describe. The Lord performing these upon um, the inhabitants of the earth. So this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 25 and verse 28. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup. At thy hand to drink, then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power. Okay. The Lord of hosts. Okay. What that word host mean? Uh, Mr. Tyson, that means armies. All right. And who is the Lord's army? Starting with the angels. Starting with Yahweh Shai. All right. The commander. All right. And, and the angels, man. And whoever. Um, uh, the. the Animals can be considered his army, man. Okay? People are his army. Why do you think the so-called white man, all right, which you endorsed by the so-called white man, the Edomites, all right, do your research, okay? The Edomites, the so-called white man who, who, who you employed by, who philosophy you're pushing, all right, why do you think he set him up, okay? That's part of his armies, Okay? So I'm going to read this uh, from the top and it shall and it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink. Then thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord of hosts of armies, ye shall uh, certainly drink for lo, I begin to bring evil. All right. So the Lord bring brings evil. All right. On the city, which is called by my name and that city is the Israelites, Mr. Tyson. All right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, that's a, a metaphor. All right, uh, for for his people. Okay, um, I'm gonna get a precept to prove that point because you know we don't want any private interpretations. All right, the Bible is no scriptures up for private interpretation, so we're gonna use the precepts. Uh, Let me see, uh, that'd be Revelations, that'd be Revelations, we're going to prove that that city is, that's called by his, <clears throat> by the Lord's name, is, uh, referring to his people, man, referring to people, see, that's the point, man, you know, you don't understand the Bible, okay, you're not, you're not spiritual, you're a carnal man. All right, and you have the wisdom of this world, okay? But the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. 
So uh, this is uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from the power. All right. From the power. Like I said, when you go back to the Hebrew, all right, Genesis 1 and 1 and the word God, God there in that, in that whole chapter. All right, all through the Old Testament is referring to uh, that word. Go back to the word power, man. All right, Allah in the in the uh, Hebrew. Okay, Allah in the Hebrew. All right, Allah to make it plural because he's he's the uh, the the Lord of armies. Okay, with an S, plural. All right, so uh, that's that city, man. Holy, uh, that great city. That's called by his name is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites, man. All right. The holy Jerusalem. All right. Not all Israel. All right. The word holy means separate. All right. So the elect of Israel, man. Um, going back. All right. So I can give uh, Mr. Tyson his evidence. All right. So it says, verse 29, for lo, I begin to bring evil on the city, on the people. Which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished. Ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the habitations of the earth. Said the Lord of armies. Alright. This is this is one of his titles. The Lord of armies. Alright. So to um, answer your question. Mr. Tyson. Uh, if, if there's a God. And he's uh, all powerful and all good. Why does all these natural disasters happen? All right. Because he's not all good. Okay. And we reading about it. We giving you your evidence that, 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 that you asked for. For I will call upon a sword upon the inhabitants of the earth, saith the Lord of armies. Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words. All right. And that's why you see. Uh, the men of the Lord are out prophesying, all right, the downfall of the so-called Edomites, all right, and the whole Edomite structure, man, the whole staff of the wicked, man, okay, which you're a part of, Mr. Tyson. Um, It says, and say unto them, the Lord shall roar from on high and utter his voice from the holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon the habitation. He shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the habitations of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword. All right. And you're endorsed by the wicked, Mr. Tyson. Which are, are the so-called white man, the nation of of uh, Edom, okay, the so-called Caucasians, okay. Um, saith the Lord, verse thirty-two. Thus saith the Lord of hosts: Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind. All right. So the Lord bring all these what you would call natural disasters. But it's basically the indignation of the Lord, man. Shall shall be rised up from coast, from the coast of the earth. Okay, and that's what you see happening, man, all throughout history from the beginning of time, starting with the flood, man. Okay. Which you, you so called scientists, all right, you, you, you don't um agree with. All right, so this is the evidence right here. Okay, that uh, the, that God exists. All right, because if you do your research, if you do your research, this place, uh, Babylon, all right, uh, which ancient Babylon, okay, not the Babylon, not the daughter of Babylon, okay, that's referred to, not uh, um, Revelations, not the mystery Babylon, okay, we talking about uh, ancient Babylon. All right, which was ruled by Nebuchadnezzar. All right, which the Israelites was captives in Babylon. Okay, 
So do your research. This is your evidence right here. And let me get the next scripture. Um, get the next scripture in Nahum. Uh, Nahum 1 and 3. And it reads, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. All powerful, Mr. Tyson. And will not at all acquit the wicked, the Edomites, all right? And a portion of his own people, man, because like yourself, you're being endorsed. You have made a covenant uh, with death, man. All right, pushing that madness. And the Lord has his way in a whirlwind. What is a whirlwind, Mr. Tyson? Oh, so like, yeah. Let me go back. A storm, man. Okay, a hurricane. Okay, so the Lord, the one that's controlling the whole show, Mr. Tyson. Okay. I know uh, the wicked, the so-called white man, okay, that push you up, that taught you all this madness, all right? He he want to be, be God, man, all right? That's why y'all exploring and, and, and trying to find all these things to back up y'all wickedness, all right, to push God out of existence in the people's minds, all right? But the Lord have an elect, 144,000 men so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, all right? That's going um, that's gonna to speak the truth according to his word, all right? So it says the Lord have his way in the whirlwind, a hurricane, and in a storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea and dry, and drive it up. He de he he rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry and drieth it up. All the rivers, Bashan language and the car uh, the camel, the caramel, and the flower of Lebanon language. All right, this is a uh, famine. All right, the Lord created four sore spirits, man. That's the same uh, four angels standing on the four corners of the earth in Revelation chapter seven. Okay. Waiting to uh, bring the destruction, right, that you was describing, man. Those volcanoes, okay, hailstones, all right, lightning, thunder, fire, disease. Why? Because Negroes like you, man. All right, to get rid of Negroes like you. Verse 5, the mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is burnt. At his presence, yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before the before his indignation? All right. And what is indignation, Mr. Tyson? It's anger. Okay. Especially of God's displeasure with sin. And that's what you're doing by pushing that philosophy, man. Okay. Um, who can stand before his indignation and who can abide in his fierceness of his anger? No one. <laughs> okay. Not even the uh, so-called white man. All right. His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, Mr. Tyson. Okay. But he's just not all good. Okay. He's good and evil. Okay. He created good and evil. Why? To good to do what we about to read in verse 7. It says the Lord is good. A, a stronghold in the day of trouble. So when all these disasters that you, that you describe happen. The Lord is good to those. Um. That trusted that trusted in him, and he know of them that trusted in him. So that's who the Lord is all good to, man. All right, he's not good, uh, all good to everybody. Okay, and he's not all evil to everybody. All right, it's a balance. Okay, so um, basically that's the point on that, and um, this is your evidence, uh, Mr. Tyson, that. 
the bearded man, as you would call him, all right, exist, all right? And you ask for the evidence, and this is your evidence. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.